if you haven't already seen part one of road tripping across the 395 freeway in California. Ricardo and I started our road trip and passed by Death Valley where we saw beautiful views and had our first ever night of car camping in a small sedan aka our Camry. Had the most uncomfortable sleep and enjoyed our time having no cell service and making more spontaneous decisions but everything changed when we regained cell service and realized our initial route of traveling freeway 395 had to be completely shifted because of an oncoming snowstorm. First things first on the list, yes. we need some gas. I ain't trying to get stranded. We're already stranded as it is. <laughs> bop. Beep, beep, boop, boop. Pow. Bop, bop. Bam. All right, let's put it Let's go inside and get some snacks. Horchata slushy. What? You we should get it? one. Oh my god, you can make your own ice cream? I think so. <gasps> I'm down. How yeah, yeah, yeah. You're getting it. Mango, you peel it. You peel it, you peel it. I forgot step number two. Place it. Working man, this is the first time he's done this. We got our first smoothie of our California road trip part two. If you guys haven't seen part one, you guys already know what to do. Everything that we did in the last video, surviving in the hottest place on earth. And right now we are transitioning from the hottest place on earth to actually, I don't know if it's technically the coldest place, but it's definitely um snowing. So that is gonna be an adventure on its own. To catch you guys up, we are driving from LA to San Francisco, but we are doing a road trip and took an alternate route. We would go through Death Valley and then pass through Bishop, Mammoth Lakes, Lake Tahoe, and then make our way to San Francisco. However, when we got service today after not having service for over 24 hours, we realized that there's a blizzard on its way tomorrow night or Thursday morning. So our trip has been cut a little bit short. We were originally supposed to stay in Lone Hill, which is where we are right now, but we're gonna drive a little bit more throughout the evening because we need to make it to Bishop to be a little bit closer to pass this mountain tomorrow morning, but we won't even think about that right now. It's all about having good vibes. So let's try this mango smoothie that I just got from the gas station. I had never seen any of these machines before, but let's see if it's worth it anyways. It was $5. Mm. It says it's made with real fruit. Let's look at the ingredients. Apple juice. What? what? Mango, pineapple, banana puree sugar. It has 11 grams of added sugar, so it's definitely not healthy, but it's good. Mm. Ricardo just finished cleaning the windows. Ah! Is it not good? It is good, but it just got like everything. Oh, like oh, also, I forgot to mention, Ricardo and I just took a shower, which is why my hair looks like this. We took a shower at like a little hostel place. We spent $10 each for a little bath, and I was able to dry my hair, but it was our first shower in 48 hours. And it was so worth it. It was so it worth it. It felt amazing. And we are going to be sleeping in close proximity yet again tonight, aka the back of this car in AKA an inflatable mattress. Heater, aka sweating. Aka personal sauna right here to my left. Mm-hmm. Are you sure that's not alcoholic? It doesn't taste like alcohol and it also doesn't taste like hibiscus. <laughs> oh yeah, it says 3% alcohol right there. <laughs> you scared me! 3% juice! Anyways, let's go on a road trip to Bishop. It's a 50 minute drive, so it's not too much. But we are going to be sleeping in a campground there. We need to get there when there's still light so that we're able to settle everything. Put our air mattress in the back. Let's go. But first, we're excited to share that today's sponsor is Casetify. We love Casetify so much. Casetify cases have been there for us literally since the beginning of our marriage. Quite literally, our wedding day, our honeymoon. Through thick and thin, through all of our travel our adventures, snow, rain, heat, everything. And you guys know that we are content creators, so we use our phones to film a lot of content for you guys as well. And having our cases that not only have really, really nice designs, but they're sleek and they offer so much protection, which is my favorite thing because I can be a little bit clumsy out here and I drop my phone so many times. Every time we're filming for you guys and recording ourselves, I always drop the phone and every single time there's no crack on the screen. My phone is always well protected. So there's a lot of designs for everybody to pick from. These are our favorites as well as the bounce case. I love so freaking much. I've been using the bounce case with the corners for the past year. That case was on my phone. As you guys can clearly see, it was the staple in my daily routine. <laughs> that one offers a 21.3 feet draw protection. And my new everyday impact case also offers 8.2 feet drop protection. 
good. So whether if it's an adventure like this one that we are on, a special vacation or a day-to-day -day thing like when we go to the gym, we can count on Casetify mm -hmm. to protect our phone while we also have a really stylish case. So if you guys want to get your own case, visit the link in our description box, which is also right here on the screen. So you can see our top favorite picks and you could get your own case. Thank you Casetify for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to the video. Can we fast? Chick-fil-A. <gasps> wow, Ricardo. What? They go was... for Chick-fil-A. Oh, okay. Eat more chicken. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, <gasps> no signal, babe. There's no service here. No service, look. We are three minutes away from the campsite and we were talking to that van. We lost service. I don't know if I want to stay here if there's no service. Or maybe like right here, just like a dead zone. Oh, yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe. But also, I don't have a plan B because the other one didn't work out. Oh, we got it back. Oh, yes, yes, We got it yes, back. Yes. We got it back. We got it back. <sighs> it's going to be freezing it, tonight. It is going to be freezing. Thank God because. Um, I'm a heater. You're welcome. <laughs> Walking heater right here. Wow, look at this view, you guys. I almost went over. It is cold out here. So we got a big problem. The reason why we were coming here is because there was possibility of it being some signal out here, but there's no signal. Zero. As soon as we got down here, we're planning on going back to find the other campground to see if maybe there's signal over there. But so far, it's not looking too good. Let's go check if we can find the other one because we went to another one in the city and we couldn't find it. It was like a fairground thing. I think my, not worst nightmare, but like one of the things that I really told myself that I didn't want to put myself into coming true right now. The sun is literally setting before my eyes and we have nowhere to sleep. Technically, we could always go back. We left the campground and we're trying to find one that has surf. I think the main thing why I want to have service is to keep updated with the weather for when we leave tomorrow. Yeah. I mean, to be able to get service is not far. It just would be more convenient. If I guess. yes. Oh my gosh. I'm really like nervous right now. Hopefully we make it work. Also, it'll be a little bit closer. Find one over here to like food so we can eat dinner. Everything's gonna work out in our favor. Manifest, baby. Oh my god, yes. We found the fairgrounds. Ricardo's gonna go see if he can go ask where we should park because this just looks like one parking lot. <gasps> He's reading something. Hopefully he finds information. I really hope we can sleep here. I don't want to go back to the really, really secluded spot, but then also... <laughs> he just took a screenshot of the paper. <gasps> Wait, there is RVs over there. I'm sure we can go over there. I just don't know where we would pay, though. He's freezing. Look at the walking heater. The heck? This is a rare occurrence. Walking heater being... Cold? What? It's fucking cold outside. So it's closed. It? They closed at four. But what it says it? right here, after hours, text or call this number or visit space 36. Well, hmm? how much is the camping? It says dry camping, $20 per night. Ricardo texted the number for the campground that was on the door and they responded. He said that they are the number for the campground. Where do we park for tent camping and where do we pay? Hey, at least they responded pretty quick. I'm not going to lie. Sun is literally like This is our set. last option. It looks scary, but I mean, the other one looks scary too. And we here we have signal we could call 911 where are all these people or what if there's people like what if it's like a little hotel or motel hotel this is giving me bad bad vibes babe there's literally no one here if these people here would be like camping here i'd be like oh yeah let's park here but dude all of these cars are abandoned there's nobody here there's no sense of community i'm just scared i think we should leave leave it says slips are in the front office in the white mailbox i'll be back on the grounds when i get off work first left past the stop sign you passed <laughs> how is she seeing us oh so it is in there i told you so what are we staying i think we should stay there's signal hope this isn't a setup there we go again looking for the damn slip oh my god that looks like out of a scary movie hello hi there this is kim the campus for the fairground? Yes. I feel a little bit more at ease. What the fuck is that a bite? I'm gonna go out for dinner? You could have said that. Okay, I'm gonna go out for a bite right now. What do we do at dinner? <laughs> we bite. You swear? It's because I see it in the movie. You swear? I see it in the <laughs> movie. They say it like that in the you movies. You swear? You're, he mess swears he's proper like that. I had to. <laughs> Take it for a bite? <laughs> I low-key feel a lot less like we're not stressed because we're gonna be sleeping in a parking lot. So I feel at ease that they called me. It was sketch that I said no caller ID. <laughs> So let's go for a bite <laughs> and then we'll come back we'll and come back. give all the money and so on. I'll do the crunchy California roll. And I'll do the goji from it and then spicy garlic edamame. The strawberry lemonade looks cute. Mix. <laughs> Get a 
pastry. I was gonna say our hotel. Oh. <laughs> You're lying! You sat on my what, chocolate! What the fuck was it? I didn't just sit on it. I warmed it up, melted it. Dude, why the fuck did you put it on my seat? I gave it to you and you No, you did it! <laughs> no, no, it was my butt cheeks were so warm, it literally melted it. I need you to sit on me right now because I'm cold as <laughs> <laughs> this place we stopped with my parents when we came to Bishop last. So nice. It's like locally owned, I think. It says they close at 8 p.m. Let's see if it's true. Oh, oh. <laughs> me, I guess. <laughs> it says right here 8 p.m. I was wondering why the parking lot was so empty. <laughs> my crockley. Oh my God, again. <laughs> My clock lit. Did you say clock lit? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 rewind the tape. You said my clock lit. My clock lit. Okay, here is Ricardo and I's night routine while camping slash living in the car while on a road trip. This is day two, so we don't necessarily have the routine down all the way. Today, we're going to try to not sleep on the air mattress. Instead, we're going to sleep on the actual car seats, and we're just going to lay them back. We have pillows and we have blankets, so we should be fine. Some sort of comfort. We will see. We'll rate tomorrow whether the mattress was more comfortable or this was more comfortable I of course need to use my overnight curls to do my hair because as you guys can see I literally look like monster right this one is from eternal muse follow my channel I rave about it all the time because I'm gonna wake up with curly hair tomorrow put a clip here to hold it in place wrap around all right and i just tie this in the back honestly most of the time it comes undone but it works at least at the beginning when it's not in my way and just like that i'm ready to go to sleep oh wow so now it is time to make the bed let's see how i'm gonna work around that all right my bed is done my bed's done too <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I do anything to this. Now, before we go to sleep, we're gonna use the restroom because we don't want what happened last night to happen again. Please. A 4 a.m. p. It is 4:20 in the morning. He did good now to go to pee. Oh my god, I can't even think. So let's go use the restroom. It is 1:12 in the morning. I have not slept at all. I was so cold and I just couldn't find the right positioning the way we were sleeping. So we ended up taking the bed out of the trunk. We inflated it and I came to the restroom real quick before I lay down. I am so tired and so sleepy. Is this what you wanted? The cold air hitting you first? <laughs> Is this what you fucking want? It's in the warm. It takes time. Come on. 40 minutes. Get it away from you. <laughs> my nose, I feel like I could just like. <laughs> Last night was terrible. If you guys remember, we were sleeping on here first. Edith was snoring her ass off. And I didn't sleep at all. I don't think I even slept like an hour at all last night. No, you were watching Sheldon all fucking night. I was not comfortable. <laughs> it was the worst roommate ever. In the beginning, the first hour, I was good. When it came to sleeping wise, not comfortable at all. Yeah, I tried turning. My legs were frozen. I was wearing shorts and a shirt. A little pink blanket that Edith has. I was actually mighty comfortable. The sleeping situation was not ideal. Honestly, I feel like for me, sleeping on the mattress in the back was better. And even right before we woke up right now, like I was actually very comfortable. Ricardo ended up turning my way. We were both sleeping the same way. I hated it. Man, uh, you're just broken sometimes. I hated it. And so that's why I have runny nose this morning and I'm still defrosting. We're, it's legit 33 degrees. We're gonna go use the restrooms and- Get breakfast. We get need breakfast. breakfast before we leave today because we're gonna be in the mountains and there's probably not gonna be much to Again. Okay, babe, but we're gonna have a good day today, okay? Really we're gonna go so. see the beautiful hot springs. Positive vibes only. <laughs> I forgot. And we are back because Edith wanted her. We need something warm mm -hmm. and we need pastries for breakfast. Choose one bread. That one actually looks really good and it's so poofed up. What does oh, it say on there? Sourdough bread. Sourdough bread. Oh my god, that looks so good. <laughs> I'm a little rusty right now. I'm too frozen for my legs. Damn, babe, fully stuck. <laughs> like I want to. Okay. This thing's heavy. <laughs> right on. I do like the croissant taste though. This orange juice, so good. Let's see. I can smell the freshness from here. 
All right, we're done with breakfast. Let's go explore the hot springs, the lakes, and all that stuff. Yup, let's go. Tell me something. Are we entering Narnia right now? Oh my gosh, there is so much snow. Definitely, we're not prepared for this much snow. When I thought about coming to a lake, I thought about actually getting in the water. At this point, but we might be ice skating. This view is so beautiful though. Wow. No. Half of it is iced. No. I can't believe it. The lake is actually frozen. Like, more than 50% of the lake is frozen. Welcome to our winter wonderland. We were just in the hottest place on earth yesterday, and now it's definitely cold. I'm gonna put on the winter gear. Thankfully, I was prepared and brought the big guns. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can even see me. I can't see myself. Ricardo's about to go tackle. Oh my god. Oh my god. What, was supposed to go down. what were you thinking? Round two. No, no more. <laughs> Baby, that snow is too hard, baby. Let's go play on some softer snow. Baby, I think they're closed. <laughs> this is crazy. Should we go ice skating? Look oh. how thick that snow let's, is. Let's, you think it'll crack? All right, let's see. Go. Don't dislocate your arm now. Oh, <gasps> I wasn't even recording there. I thought you were going to throw it over there. Crap. It's frozen. <laughs> I thought it wasn't. Fun fact, I guess there was some sort of fight off or something like that between some convict that had not Escaped and the police here and so that's why they named this lake convict lake and maybe who knows some of the convicts escaped maybe they didn't there was a battle that happened right here in front of us and now it's full of snow frozen ready for us to go ice skating the road is actually closed so we're not able to get any closer than this tradition baby hey 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 Hey. <laughs> Let's make it a little bit crazier. Let's see some hot springs. This man is mega crazy. What are you doing, sir? He has no proper snow gear at all on or anything. You're gonna get all wet, my guy. Should I just jump? Sure, I guess. Just drop. Face first. <laughs> <laughs> You're done. You're gonna get all wet, mijo. Te va a dar resfriado. Te va a dar resfriado. <laughs> Yeah, vámonos. <laughs> Signature. I do in the middle of the snow. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> Out of breath. That was so worth it. Really off-roading. We're trying to get to the geological site. Hopefully we make it. Camry's having a little bit of trouble passing through this middle ice barrier. Oh, you're good, babe. Go. Oh, never mind. It's scratching. Never mind. It's scratching. I guess we're reversing out. I'm so sad. This is the one thing I wanted to do so bad. How about this? We park on the side of the road. If anybody comes, we ask them to give us a ride. Okay. Damn, yeah, the car is so fucking short. Keep going straight. Don't curve anymore. Keep going straight. Did you go to the car? Yeah, go. Oh. Stop. <laughs> now we go back. There you go. <gasps> Fuck. Not gonna lie, that really scared me that we were gonna get stuck. The tire like started sliding a little bit. I just wish somebody would come help us. Somebody come, and then we'll hitchhike a ride to there. If a car does come, they're gonna jack all our shit. Guess we'll just hike our way the rest of the way and hope to not get towed where we stop. Oh, broken into. Or broken into. What kind of animal is that? Oh no, a bear? Look, big ass paws. And it looks like it has fingernails, baby. But shouldn't they be hibernating? Because that one looks like it has fingernails a little bit. But then right there, it also looks like skis. So this is the main reason why we couldn't pass by. It's literally like all iced in right here. And it's super wet. It's pretty, the ice is pretty thin. It'll probably break. Actually, oh my God, I'm standing straight on it. And it's not cracking. Ooh, yeah, this one cracked. How much do we have left of the hiking? 25. Yeah. You said point five a long time ago. Bye, Bubby. Love you. Running. Okay. Cardo and I are not going to be together for this adventure because we're just too scared of the car staying by itself so far away. So Ricardo is going back over there because he saw a truck that was coming. So he's going to go check on the car and just stay there and make sure it's fine. Well, I do a one mile hike by myself through the woods in the middle of the snow with no weapon and just my little ass here. Ricardo told me to run, but I don't think I have the endurance for it. All right, guys, I found this first area. Evidence of a fiery pass. It looks so pretty. This is not the area that I was looking for, but wow, no way. It's so pretty. It's like a little river coming down. Oh, I 
have to go down there now. I don't know how much farther it is from here to get there because here it was a mile to there, maybe another mile. But I think we have to do the journey together. Ricardo's actually on the phone with me, thankfully. I haven't lost signal quite yet. It's a little choppy, but at least he's on the phone with me. There isn't anyone here. So one car has passed by, so I think I should be okay. The sun is out. I should have brought pepper spray though. <laughs> I'm gonna walk a little bit more and see if I can find the right path to get there. I don't know what kind of animal this is, but I found another paw and that one looks pretty big. This one looks a little bit smaller and then that one looks a lot bigger, but it's right here. So it does kind of concern me a little bit. I should have never listened to Ricardo. I should have brought my hiking boots. I'm just hiking this one last. Honestly, this isn't even a real path. It had a little marker that said camping and on my map, on the little that I can see, kind of shows like this leads to the hot springs. I'm not sure. I'm out here by myself. This is my last attempt. I've been hiking for what seems like miles. I just can't see anything. Whoa, this is way too dangerous. Oh my God. This is as close as we're gonna get. The hot springs are down there. I wanted to make it down there, but I couldn't find the path. I'm genuinely so sad. I just did like a freaking 10 mile hike and I got the same view. I just wanted to make it to the bottom so bad. I just don't know how to get there since I don't have a car because the camera is just so low and it doesn't have four wheel drive. It's impossible to go through these roads. At least I tried. I'm gonna head back now. It is 10.02. Let's see how long it takes me to get back to road. You guys, I found the passageway. It was literally right here the whole time. Oh, I think it snowed in. Wow. After this whole time, it was in front of me all along. I did a whole extra like 30 minute hike for nothing. The path was just covered in snow and I just went right past it. I kind of slipped right there coming down and I'm scared that I'll slip over there. But right here, there's a little bit of a railway. But I will say the view from right here is already so much better. I wish Ricardo was here with me to see this. Look at that beauty. Wow. That is exactly the view that I wanted to get out of this. There's some little duckies right there swimming. How does the water not get that hot for them? There's literally no one else that I can see here. All I can hear is the river flowing and the smells. <sighs> There's water bubbling from right there. Do you guys see that? As if it was like erupting from there. I made it! And guess what? Victory juice like in Acatenango. This is gonna hit so much. I know it because literally you guys, remember I told you when I was going back it was like 10 a.m.? It was 10.02 actually. 11.02. Wow. It took an hour. It took me an hour to come back. Well, I stopped at the creek for a little bit for like 10 That's to 15 true. But it was so worth it! After this, we are going to head home. Our trip has gotten cancelled. Our end goal got cancelled just because of the whole weather thing that's gonna be going on tomorrow and then also the trip to San Francisco is not a hundred percent planned out. Like we have no idea where we're gonna stay at. I low key don't want to be sleeping in the car in San Francisco. We realized this last night after we were freezing our butt cheeks off. We were like, <laughs> what is gonna go on? Where are we gonna sleep in San Francisco? Like San Francisco doesn't have like that many camping trails or camping sites. I'm exactly. assuming. I looked on the app and I couldn't really find any. And I was like, I don't know the area that well. I've we heard there's a lot of crime. Mm. I don't know for sure, but I don't want to like also put myself in that situation. So after everything that happened and after much thought this morning yeah. we decided we were going to all it a day <clears throat> cut our trip a little bit short but that doesn't mean that we won't go to san francisco in the near future we're just gonna be more prepared i think at the end of the day we called it because i don't think it's a trip that we should make it's not camry camping vibes you know Ooh, camry, camry camp camp <laughs> Let's head back home. We have a road trip of about five to six hours. Mm -hmm. Let's make the best out of it. 